Yo, Joburg, this is Steve, and Christmas Strikes Again, Christmas Part 2, the sequel, because here at G.I. Joburg, we have an unboxing to do, with a bit of a backstory. At the beginning of the year, there was a Facebook post on the G.I. Joburg group uh, asking what are the things on our wishlist items for 2022, and I put top of my list has got to be the vehicle that has escaped me pretty much my collecting career, and that's the first vehicle I ever got as a child, and that was the Tiger Paw. Enter Chris Miwa of Chasing 80s Toys. Link to his channel is in the description below. Check it out, it's awesome. Chris got a hold of me uh, on the DMs and said, Steve, I got you, buddy. But the package he sent is a little bit too generous for one small tiger paw. So it's got me wondering, like, either he's filled this with rocks or, I don't know, bits of plastic sprue or something, just to keep the weight up or he's got some other goodies in there which warrant a surprise unboxing video. So let's go through this together, shall we? Ping! All right, I'm gonna try and keep this quick because huh, I'm supposed to be looking after the kid right now. Uh, wife's got a night shift, so she needs all the rest she can get, but she has given me 10 whole minutes to fire off an unboxing vid. So here we go, lightning tour. Oh, there's a note, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Not only a note, but he's like personalized it, G.I. Joe, Tiger Force. Hi Steve, hearing about your childhood memories about the Tiger Force Tiger Paw made it a no-brainer that my Tiger Paw would have been would have the best home in your collection. It's missing the hose and the engine cover on the back is missing. One of the clips. The engine cover on the back is missing one of the clips, but I hope you will enjoy it. Dude. <laughs> of course. Consider it a gift from a friend as a thanks for all the cool footage you, Paul, and Rob put out there. G.I. Joburg knows how to, how to keep the fun and memories of playing with these toys alive. Berg, your buddy, Chris Miwa, Chasing 80s Toys, The Netherlands. Ah, yes. Our Dutch friends and fans are super, super fans. Um, he's not the first, first friend from the Netherlands who has been extremely generous towards the channel. Thank you, Chris. Oh my word, we're off to a flying start already. Look at that. That is gorgeous. This deserves a review all of its own. Oh my word. I don't know what you're seeing on the back, but what I'm seeing on the front is... Oh, it just gets better and better. Okay, this is, this is beautiful. Um, promotional material from Europe, and particularly the Benelux countries, is top-notch. Uh, anyone who's seen our Benelux catalog reviews knows this to be true, so this is, this is huge. Wow. Thank you, Chris. Uh, and there's more. Hey. They know how to sell a toy, that's for damn sure. I mean, they've taken panels from Special Missions. That's, um, Showdown. Oh my word, it's a comic on the one hand and a cross sell on the other. That's incredible. Oh. <laughs> Rattler gets a spread, the Tommel gets a spread, interspersed with comic book panels. Oh, man. Like I said, this is how it's done. Um, we are going to have to review this. This is beautiful. But let's get into the plastic because I know that's what you're all here for. That's certainly what I'm here for. <laughs> No ways! <laughs> Stroop waffles. 12 stucks. Great. Sorry, Major, Major Storm just took a dirt nap. But uh, we'll rejuvenate him with some of these waffles. Fantastic, man. You know, they do sell these elsewhere in the world, but I don't imagine they can get any better than the authentic Dutch waffle biscuit. That's, that's stunning. That's going off to one side. Um, for now, <laughs> tea time, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get it back on the menu. Oh man, here it is. Oh yes. Got a few packing peanuts, just to be sure. That stuff is always going to come in handy. I, I always stockpile it. I'm sure you do as well out there, dear viewer. But here she is, ladies and gentlemen. The star of the show. Now, these things have been going up in value, haven't they? It's just getting astronomical um, for such a basic, simple toy. And I think it speaks to exactly how well made this is. Firstly, you know, the base mold, the ferret is terrific. And secondly, 
the Tiger Force livery works so well on an ATV. Like this is just sublime. It's so compact, it's so aesthetically pleasing. Um, and the, the deckling, while loud, um, the, the paint design, while quite loud, is nonetheless like just part of its appeal. You could imagine this being either civilian or just like a really aggressive G.I. Joe vehicle. Um, it's almost like the ferret was meant to be a Joe vehicle because of how conventional it is. Um, and this is your opportunity to cast it as such. <sighs> Takes me back. My earliest memory of this was playing with it with Charboil as the operator. And I was watching the Flash TV series on, 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 on TV at the time. And I was just rampaging this thing all around the living room. Yeah, good times, man. Anyways, I'm stuck in nostalgia. Expect to see more footage of this shortly. In fact, I might even take it out into the garden for a few maneuvers right now. Stay tuned. But right now, I gotta, gotta relieve the wife. Thanks for watching, Joe Burgers. And remember to check out Chris's channel. Link in the description below. Yo, Joe. Bird. So, the Tiger Paw. Such an enduring recast, primarily because the base vehicle was so good. Rubber tires, a gimmick that links the steering to the machine gun pivot, the removable cover for weapon storage, all the hallmarks of the early era of G.I. Joe made available to late adopters like myself. Plus an absolutely banging colour scheme. Quads are loud and aggressive. I have no problems with a paint scheme to match. Tiger Force Jinx is one of the only two Tiger Force figures I have here with me in Australia, and she's the natural choice as a driver, because her gummy post-2000s fingers can fit on the thick handlebars. They are thumb breakers, make no mistake. But it would be an even bigger shame if they were thinner, and therefore fragile pieces in danger of always breaking themselves. The Tiger Paw and me, reunited after 31 years. Expect to see some more of her on the channel, but for now, it's enough to say I'm a happy boy. Thank you, Chris. Yo, Joe.